Welcome to Life Flaps 101, where I teach you everything you need to know about creating professional looking stop motion videos on a budget using your phone and our app, Life Flaps, which you can download for free on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. We're going to cover everything from lighting, DIY home studio, tripod hacks, animation styles, editing techniques, and so much more. All right, let's dive in. Along with having consistent lighting and not shooting in daylight, the next important thing for stop motion is that your phone is stable as you are shooting the entire video. So it does not move a fraction of an inch while you are shooting. So you are not hand holding it. You are not using our ghost feature to just kind of think it's lined up. So the reason you don't want to hand hold your phone is because you want the focus to be on whatever it is you're animating. So Let's say you have a mug. I always use a mug in my example, and it's moving across the screen. If you're hand holding it, the background is gonna change its position every time you shoot. And when you play it back at a high speed, not only is the mug gonna be moving, but the background too, and it's gonna look super like jolty and not great. We get tagged in tons of different stop motion videos on Instagram, and these videos have so much potential, but I can see that they're hand holding it. And it really does make the video look sloppy. I'm sorry to say it does look sloppy. If you're shooting an upright video, you can place your phone against anything. You can put it inside a mug. You can place it against a stack of books. If you want to shoot a flat lay stop motion, so your camera's above and you're shooting straight down, this is great for food videos, um, for flat lay style, if you're doing anything with like fashion or clothes or products. Um, you can place your phone if you're, the, if you're doing a food one, place your phone on the edge of a cupboard in the kitchen. If you are doing a flat lay, place your phone on the edge of a desk or on a side table or a chair. If you're using something like a desk or a table or a side table or a chair to shoot a flat lay and the layout is not quite what you want, so you want to zoom in or out because the height, you can't really change the height when you're um, shooting like this. You have two options, so we have three different lenses. If you have one of the iPhones with three lenses, you can change that at the beginning of a project. So you can do the 0.5 lens, the regular lens, or the two lens, the zoom one. Um, otherwise, if you don't have that, and it's just like a little bit that you need to zoom in, not enough to switch lenses, but still enough that maybe your, your backdrop that you have on the bottom is like, you can see around it and it's not filling up the frame, you can always zoom in in the editor. It's not very clear, but if you go to the tilt function in the editor, you can pinch and zoom your video. So the photos you take are pretty high quality um, in life lapse. So when you pinch and zoom, you're not compromising too much quality, which is great. Um, and then you can have it so that your backdrop is fully in frame. It's important when you're doing these hacks, like putting it into a mug or on the edge of a table, you should be putting the interval timer on in the camera or using a Bluetooth remote. The reason why is let's say you're moving, I don't know, let's say a wallet across the screen and you're doing a flat lay shoot. You're on the ground and you're gonna be moving the wallet and then you have to get up and go push the button to take the photo and then come back and move the wallet. But because it's not secured in a tripod, the chances of you moving that phone or hitting off of it are probably pretty high. So highly recommend purchasing a Bluetooth remote. They're like five, $10 on Amazon. Again, all this stuff is linked in our products that we recommend um, in our academy. So you can go check that out. You should also know that connecting the Bluetooth remote is a pro feature in Life Lab. So you're gonna have to have the pro version of the app to connect it and take the photos with it. If you don't wanna invest in Life Labs Pro or Bluetooth remote, you can use our interval timer. This is a free setting that we have in our camera. And what you can do is have it, let's say, take a photo every 10 seconds. So that you can just stay on the ground and keep moving the purse across. Um, so you're not having to like keep going up, taking the photo, possibly moving the camera. And when you're doing this, make sure that the volume is on the side of your phone. So the little switch that you have on um, on the side of your iPhone that has to be up. If you're in silent, even if you have the volume up on your phone, it will not um, play the shutter sound in life lapse when it takes a photo. And this will make it easier for you as you're animating because 
you can hear when it takes a photo and you know when to move the wallet next. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube and social media so you can be the first to know when we release new tutorials.